Kill the team on back. They're doing the ring walk now. Fujimoto looks in shape. My prediction for this fight is second round stoppage to Daniel Dynamite Dubois. What's up, Jamie, in the chat? The fighters are walking out now, man. Dubois is coming out. Fujimoto is already in the ring. Uh, it's Sunday here. <laughs> I'm in New Zealand, so... Um, yeah, it's Sunday here. The audio check, make sure it's working, y'all. Yep, it's working. Hopefully the fight isn't too loud. Uh, let me know in the chat if you can hear the fight. And if it's loud, excuse any background noise too, by the way, yo, it's just me and my little boy home at the moment, he's busy playing, so, but I'm going to do my best to do a half decent commentary job, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, two rounds, I think that's realistic, Philip. But, uh, you know, we might get surprised. I think Fujimoto is way more entertaining as a kickboxer, but I guess there's no money in it. So he's been hiding in Japan, fighting guys who ain't even in his weight division. He's been knocked out by uh, Solomon Homono from Australia, who isn't even a real boxer. He's a rugby league player. Yeah, he got knocked out cold by that mofo, so I don't hold high hopes. This is what I see as a cash-out fight for Fujimoto. It is what it is. Um, we'll see what happens, though. I'm actually a little bit surprised Fujimoto made it to the ring, to be honest. He's been signed for fights in the past and bailed. So the ring announcer is doing the announcements now. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, y'all. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Help spread the content. I'm at about 850 subs now. I need to get to that 1,000 to get back into monetized work. Uh, many of y'all may not know. I used to have a channel called Kiwi Box. It was up around 3,000 subs, but since the new YouTube regulations have come in i haven't been able to be monetized and they've informed me that it'll never be monetized again that channel so i had to abandon it start afresh still doing announcements um i will let y'all know when the start and the end of the rounds are so you can uh fast forward or rewind the stream to get in sync if you like So I'm leaving the YouTube window now to go to the main window. So I won't be able to read the chat for now, y'all. Fujimoto looks a bit nervous. Pacing around side to side in the ring. Kitaro Fujimoto is the Asia Pacific champion. And he won that title by fighting a middleweight. <laughs> Pretty funny shit, really.
Fujimoto looks in shape though. So that's good. Daniel Dubois, 13 and 0 with 12 knockouts. He looks relaxed and loose. Alright, fighters come into the center of the ring. Defend your sons at all times. Touch gloves. Here we go, team. Round one about to begin. Ring getting cleared. Fight is ready. Ding, ding. Round one underway. Dubois takes the center of the ring. Straight out with a jab. Fujimoto standing straight up and down. Gloves up, but not in front of his chin. Another jab from Dubois. He tries to lunge in with a right hand, but Fujimoto ducks down. He's under Dubois' arm. The ref breaks him up. Back to center ring. Dubois with a jab again. Another jab. Another jab. Another double jab. Fujimoto circling around to the right hand of Dubois. Not such a good idea. He gets out of the way of a big right hand from Dubois. Another jab to the chest from Dubois. Jab to the head, Dubois. Just touching the guard, really. Jab to the body. Fujimoto tries to come in with a body shot. Dubois lands a counter. Right hand from Dubois. He's got... Fujimoto in the corner, not throwing punches though. More jab from Dubois. Fujimoto slipping a couple of punches. Dubois tries a combination, misses most. Kutaro circles out to the right again. Jab from Dubois, center ring. Another jab from Dubois to the body. Posturing, standing still, both guys. Jab right hand. Fujimoto kind of slips it, circles around to the left. Dubois got him against the ropes. Jab, jab, right hand. Hook, left hand. Doesn't look like he's putting a lot of mustard on his punches, Dubois. Jab from Dubois and counter jab to the body from Fujimoto. Fujimoto not doing a lot at this stage. Trying to use his feet a little bit. Jab right hand from Dubois. More posturing jab from Dubois. Fujimoto tries to counter with a body jab but misses. Jab then right hand and lands for Dubois. Kitaro bounces off the ropes. Back to the center ring. Jab from Dubois. Jab right hand but Fujimoto ducks under and gets in close. They tie up. Referee breaks him up. Back in center ring. More posturing. Light jab range finder. Big looping right hand from Dubois. Missed by a mile. Fujimoto is quick enough to get out of the way of some of them. Jab from Dubois. Small posturing trying to find range. Tries a three punch. One, two. Then left hook. Misses most of them. Jab from Dubois lands. Jab from Dubois again. Fujimoto keeps circling around to the right hand side. Not such a good idea I think. A double jab from Dubois, then a right hand, but they tie up. Fujimoto goes under the right hand. Round one finished. So, easy Dubois round, but not a lot happening in there. Not, not a lot of pace. Uh, Mrs. and my other kid just got home between rounds. They're just showing a bit of a fight replay at the moment between rounds.
So a couple of those right hands did land. Oh, Fujimoto landed a right hand. I didn't even see that. Didn't phase Dubois. Round two has begun. Jab from Dubois. Jab from Dubois and a counter jab from Fujimoto. Another jab from Dubois. Guitar is bobbing and weaving. Jab, then right hand from Dubois, but they tie up. The right hand didn't really land that much. Jab from Dubois again. Fujimoto doesn't look too keen to come in. Is he just trying to last and maybe wear down Dubois? But if he's not going to throw anything, it's not going to wear Dubois down. 1 2 from Dubois, and then they tie up. Nothing really landed again. Fujimoto seems to have his earmuffs on a bit more now. Maybe he's a bit more wary of the power of Dubois. Fujimoto tried to jab to the body and Dubois landed a jab and Kitaro Fujimoto goes down. Gets up straight away though. Makes the 8 count. Went down with a jab. Stiff jab from Dubois. 1-2 then they tie up. 1-2 was from Dubois. Jab from Dubois. Posturing, fainting from both guys. But Fujimoto is not really fainting, he's fainting blocks. <laughs> Double jab, right hand from Dubois. Backs up Fujimoto into the corner, but nothing really lands. Jab lands good from Dubois. And then a couple of punches up against the ropes. Fujimoto is getting in trouble here. He's up against the ropes, getting a flurry of punches. Good right hand lands, good left hook lands from Dubois. He's covering up, he's right up against the ropes. If you're not careful, the ref's going to stop it. Dubois land quite a few punches in that combination. Oh, big right hand from Dubois. And Fujimoto is down. He ain't getting up. Round two knockout. Who picked that? Boom, it was me. That's the end of the fight. Second round, knockout, Daniel Dubois. What did I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? Game over. Just like that. Go back to Japan. Go back to kickboxing. Alright, so that's the end of the fight. I'll just wait for a few comments from the fighters when they happen. Looking at the chat now, y'all. Yeah, it was a shame, Marlo, about the Kiwi Box channel pissed me off. But, you know, it is what it is. I've got to rebuild. Clean punch, boom, that's right. Only took one real clean punch. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. He's <laughs> Fujimoto is on the oxygen. <laughs> oh, funny. Bonus points on the Prediction League. Double A. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, man, I've been picking Dubois second round ever since the fight was announced. Yeah, that jab does have some real power. Drop Fujimoto. I think he was a little bit off balance when he was trying to throw his own body jab when he copped it. But you could see the look on his face when he got up was, ooh, that fucking hurt. He didn't seem very keen um, after that. And he was holding his hands a lot higher all of a sudden. So, yeah, he jumped in the deep end of a pool and he drowned. Simple as that.
the boy knew there was nothing coming back by round two. Fujimoto was just getting a, a duck, a chick, you mean. He wasn't even trying to get inside on the bois. No, he was there for a payday. You could see it from the start. Dubois uh, has a WBC ticket as well. Well, yeah, he's got the WBC silver belt now, so he should be in the top five. I think that's how it's supposed to work. The silver belt guarantees you a top five ranking with the WBC. So there's a possibility he could end up fighting the WBC champion, whoever it may be, uh, next year. As a volunteer, anyway. Yeah, he could also fight in a WBC final eliminator to get the third mandatory spot now, too. Well, yeah, Washington is a good call, um, double A. Uh, myself and Raphael Dawkins were both talking about that would be a good interim step fight for Daniel Dubois. Um, Gerald Washington would be a prime candidate for that. He's also in the ranking, so it would help him. Um, but we'll see what happens. You know, Frank Warren's got the connection with um, PBC at the moment, so it seems they're working together a bit more. It's definitely a fight that could happen. Warren has no reputation. And stables apart from... One does not want to make the fight. Well, we'll see. Everyone was saying he wouldn't make the Gorman versus Dubois fight until like 2021, but that's already happened, hasn't it? So there isn't a lot of heavyweights in his stable. He's got Nathan Gorman, Joe Joyce. Did you try them properly? And we'll see what happens. Uh, there's no doubt that at the moment, Daniel Dubois is Frank Warren's cash cow, so I'm sure he's going to be somewhat careful with him, but they were talking about Joseph Parker as well the other week, uh, even though it's not likely to happen. Maybe that's why they talked about it, because it's not likely him being a Sky, or oh, sorry, a matchroom fighter at the moment for two more fights. It's only a three-fight deal, Parker's on with Eddie Hearn, so we'll see what happens there, but uh, Mr. Boxing today in the house, good to see you in, brother, hope you enjoyed that two-round fight, <laughs> looking forward to another heavyweight dust-up this afternoon, should be a pretty straightforward matchup though, uh, Yogo Koladze and Efra Jogba are fighting on the um, Tony Harrison versus Jamel Charlo fight card as well so i might cover that but definitely looking forward to that charlo versus harrison rematch um the build-up to that's been awesome as well the arrogance of charlo and the confidence of um tony harrison have been a good clash in the build-up so i'm looking forward to that man uh, got some fighter comments Uh, talking to Joe Joyce, David Hay. <laughs> uh, talking up Daniel Dubois, every, every heavyweight can punch, but not every heavyweight can do that. Well... I think just about every elite level heavyweight
could do that to Kiataru Fujimoto, though, couldn't they? Guy didn't belong there, never did. Hopefully that's the end of Kitaro Fujimoto getting ranked and being eligible for these kinds of fights because he did not belong there. Daniel Dubois comments on it. Sorry guys, just listen to the comments. April? Headlining at the O2 in April. Well, see, they're talking to Frank Warren now. They're talking about Joe Joyce and Daniel Dubois. That's easy to make, isn't it, for Frank? And I could see that happening in April. That would definitely get the Daniel Dubois a good ranking of the WBA as well because Joe Joyce has that bullshit WBA gold belt. They mentioned Dillian White as well. They keep mentioning these matchroom fighters. But I don't know how realistic it is that they're going to fight them unless it's a, for a belt of some type. I don't see it, any of that shit happening. You yeah, wouldn't at all be surprised if we see Dubois versus Joyce at the O2 in April. So we'll see. Alright, so Daniel Dubois, the man of few words really it says he landed a sweet shot and that was about it so um yeah humble guy he looks good um and i want to see where he goes hopefully he does get a a better opponent i mean this opponent was <laughs> like three steps down from his last few so uh it is what it is but uh i'll leave it with you and I might jump on and do a stream for the uh, a Jagba fight later on. That's not till like 2, 3 o'clock New Zealand time. So, hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up on your way out if you haven't already. And subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you in the next one. Enjoy your day. That's me, Big Boys Boxing. I'm out. See you.